Hello there! Would you like to learn how to set the initial position of your robot in a localization system? Yes? Then stay with me. This video is for you. Hello everybody and welcome again to this video series, The Ross Questions and Answers. And for the video of today, we are going to be checking this question I found in the Ross Answers Forum, which uh, says, Hi guys, usually if we were to set the estimated pose of robot, we will just reposition it in RVs by simply clicking to relocate it to our desired position. What if I wanted to reposition it programmatically, not a fixed one? Or it can be done in terminal because somehow I can't relocate myself in RVs after I put everything together into my robot. Previously, it is able to relocate with only one laser. Thank you so much. Okay, so we are going to have a look at this question and give some alternatives on how you can do this. So for that, I have prepared here in the ROS Development Studio a ROS jet, which I have right here. This one here, I'm going to open it right now. And uh, yeah, so basically I'm going to launch the simulation and, and show an example of this. Meanwhile, this load, which shouldn't take too long, let me remember you to have a look at our Robot Ignite Academy, which is our online academy where you can, you can find many online ROS courses of many different topics. You can see here all of them with uh, uh, artificial intelligence, basic ROS, courses of products uh, which are related to different robots, for instance, manipulation, navigation, etc. Yeah, so have a look and if you are interested, go for it. And let's come back here. This is already loaded. Excellent. So first of all, I'm going to launch the simulation. In this project, uh, it, this one it is a little bit special because I have my simulation in a in a different workspace. You can see it here. Let me close this. So here we have the Eric Iro Sim workspace, which contains the the simulation. And here I have some commands in order to launch the simulation. So I'm going to put all these uh, instructions into the project so that you can follow these instructions in order to start the simulation. Also, because I'm going to share later this project with you. So first of all, I'm going to execute this command in order to copy some meshes for Gazebo. And I'm going to launch the simulation just like this. There we go. All right, so now once I start my simulation, I can open here a Gazebo display. And uh, whenever the simulation finishes loading, I'm going to be able to visualize my simulation here in Gazebo. There it goes. Let me put this up and this down here. All right. And yeah, here I have my simulation. In this case, it's an Irby Kairos robot from Robotnik, which is here in an office environment, as you can see, with two rooms. And yeah, so now I'm going to directly launch the localization system. So here inside the Catkin workspace, here, as you can see, we have two packages, the publish init pose, which we are going to see later, and also Irby Kairos now, which I Actually, it's a folder with different packages here, as you can see, localization, path planning, mapping, etc. In this case, we are going to fo focus on the localization packet because we are going to work with localization and with poses. So I'm going to start this launch file, my summit localization. So ROS launch, my summit localization. Okay. I need to source here my Catkin workspace, so let's source it, and now yes, ROS launch, my summit localization, there we go, and my summit localization, yeah? So here I am launching my AMCL node, which is going to be in charge of the localization of my robot, and in order to visualize all this better, and in order to understand it better, I'm going to start as well an Irvis window, uh, and for this, I'm going to open here a graphical tools display, which I'm going to move to a new window right here. There we go. 
in order to see it better and bigger. So here I have RVs, as you can see, and I'm going to set up this for the localization. So I'm going to remove all these point clouds and images. Let's remove it. And I'm going to add here a map display, which is right here, and also an pose array display, which should be down here as well. Yeah, here I have it. Excellent. So now here for the map, I'm going to select the map topic, which is the one where I'm publishing the map. There we go. Here I have it. I'm going to change here the frame, by the way, to robot map, which is the one I'm using for the map. There we go. And here you can see the robot within the map. Yeah, so here in this simulation, let me put it like this. So yeah, here you can see the big room with the two small rooms here inside as shown here in the map. And for the push array, I'm going to select the particle cloud topic, which should appear here. Here we have it. Excellent. So here I have all my particles from the AMCL node, which are right now dispersed, yeah, because the robot is not properly localized. But you can see that they start here in the zero, zero position, yeah, the position here at the center of the map. And yeah, let's go. So. How can we change this initial position? So first of all, the user here at the beginning of his message men mentions that we just reposition it in RVs by simply clicking to relocate it to our desired position. Yeah. So this basically refers to this 2D pose estimate tool. With this here from RVs, I can change the position where the robot is localized. So for instance, I can move here to this position, and as you can see, the robot relocalizes to this position, yeah? Even though in the simulation, nothing has changed. It's still the same, yeah? But here in RVs, I am relocalizing my robot to the, this position. So it was zero, zero before, and now we can see it here. Now it's uh, two, zero, zero, yeah? So two uh, for the X axis, zero for the Y axis, and zero for the Z axis, yeah? Okay, but this is not the way that this user wants to do it. He wants to do it from a program, from the terminal, or from a program, yeah? So, programmatically, or from the terminal. And you can do it, actually, in the two ways, in a pretty easy way. So, basically, what we are doing here is no other thing than to publish into a topic. So, we are publishing into a topic, let's check it, which is named initial post, yeah? So, here I can do a ROS topic list and look for this initial post topic, which we can see here, yeah? And this topic, by the way, uses the message, we are going to see it here, the message post with covariance stamped, yeah? And you can see now that we have only one publisher, which is RVs, yeah? Because we have, we have published from this topic into this topic from RVs using the 2D post estimate tool. But we can publish into this topic however you we want. So for instance, let's do it first of all from the terminal. I'm going to do here a ROS topic pop to the initial post topic using this post with covariance stamped message, which has this structure. And here, I'm going to move to the position and orientation values. I'm going to leave the covariance uh, at the default values. So I have to move here character uh, by character. I cannot go directly. Unfortunately, but well, let's do it this way. I'm going to set the orientation to one, which is basically looking in this direction as it is now. And the position, for instance, we can leave it at zero 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 because now it's it has changed to two zero zero. And the frame ID, important, I have to set it to robot map, yeah, which is the frame of the map. So basically, now I'm going to publish a new initial position at the zero zero zero. Yeah, so now it is at 200, and I'm going to set it at 000, yeah? So it is here now, and when I publish this message, it should go back to this position, to the center of the map, to a 00, zero position, yeah? So let's see what happens. So first of all, let's publish this message. Let's publish it, and first of all, we can see that a message appears here which says setting pose to 000, zero, zero, yeah? So now I have set this pose, and here in RVs, I can see that my robot has come back to the zero, zero position. And I still have the particle cloud as well. You can see it here in the small. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Zero dot 
5, for instance. Yeah, so here I have my AMCL particle, which is now properly localized, and the robot model went back to the 0, 0 position, yeah? And I can change this one more time. So let's set it back again to the 2, 0 position, for instance, or 3, 0 position. So I'm going to modify here the position value one more time. And I'm going to set it to 3, uh, yeah, 3, 3, 0. So let's come here. And the x value, I'm going to modify it to 3. First of all, I'm going to see the message up, up here. You can see 3, 0, 0. And in Airbus, one more time, yeah, this has changed. Actually, let me make it a little bit bigger so that we can visualize it. Here, yeah. So here I have my robot in the one, two, three, zero position. Yeah. And now I'm doing this. I'm so I'm publishing into this initial post topic. Yeah, this topic here from the command line. But I can do this, of course, also from a program. In fact, from a very easy program, from a simple Rust publisher, I can do this. So here in this package I have here, which is called publish init post. I'm going to do this. So I already have a code here prepared, which is called poop init pose. You can see it. It hasn't opened properly. There we have it. Yes, yeah, so here we have uh, our poop init pose Python script, which is super simple, as you can see. So here we are declaring a Rust publisher, which will publish into the initial post topic this type of message, the post with covariance stamped. Yeah, then here I'm basically filling the values of the message I want, of this post with covariance stamped message. So I'm setting the frame ID to robot map, just as I did here from the command line, yeah, the frame ID to robot map. And then I'm modifying here the values for position and orientation. The orientation, I leave it at one, which is this orientation. Whoop, this has moved. Let me move this back like this. All right, there we go. Yeah, so the orientation is this one looking forward, as you can see. Yeah, the orientation is set here, and here I'm setting the position, yeah? So this can be any position I want as well. So let's go up, for instance, to the 0, 0 position. If I set this to the 0, 0 position, and I run my program, I'm going to do it right now. So let me source first my cutting workspace. That will set a bash, and rush run. Publish init post, put init post. There we go. So I'm running my program now. I will see here, as I can see, you can see here that it starts many times setting the 0, 0 position. This is because, let me stop the program. This is because I am publishing here while, so while my program is running, I'm going to keep publishing at a rate of one hertz this message, yeah? So this is why you can see it here several times, yeah? So here I'm setting the initial position again to 0, 0, and I'm going to see this in my uh, in my Airbus here. So the robot and the particle is back to the 0, 0 position, yeah? And I can modify it uh, however I want. So for instance, let's move it here inside, the, inside this room. So this would be 1, 2, minus 2 in the x-axis and 1, two, three, four in the y-axis, for instance, which is going to set the robot to this pose. So minus two in the x-axis, let's change it here in our program, minus two and four in the y-axis, yeah? And now I'm going to run one more time my program. The pose, we are going to see the message appear here to minus two, four, there you have it. So let's stop our program, yeah? and here in Airbus as well, I can see that my robot goes to this new position, this new initial pose, which is minus two, four, yeah? So yes, yeah, you can see it's super simple. So basically all you are doing is to publish a message into a topic. This way you can control the initial position of your robot, yeah? So yeah, that's all for the video today. I hope you've liked it, you've learned something new. If so, please give us a like, a thumbs up, and remember to subscribe to our channel. We are publishing mm, new videos uh, every week. Uh, 
with Ross content, so stay tuned. And yeah, we'll see you in the next questions and answers video. So goodbye and see you soon.